Hi and welcome to the channel. It's Team D Tour. I'm Gary. And I'm Heather. We're on a shakedown tour at present. We've not long had this, this vehicle, approximately two weeks now. And we've just travelled down from Mullaney at home, down through Bow Desert to Stanthorpe. Then from Stanthorpe, we've come down towards Texas and we're currently just sitting outside the Glen Lyon Dam. So we're testing the, the truck out, looking to see how everything works. Okay, so welcome to our home. Um, this is the galley, which is, uh, has an induction cooktop. Uh, great windows, always a lovely view to do the uh, washing up and the food preparation area. As you can see, there's lots of uh, bench space. Um, we have an induction, which I'm very impressed with, an induction charging station there for the phone. And a uh, great pantry, double pantry there. Um, we have the fridge and a freezer. And over here we have um, a melee washing machine. Oh, it's a combined wash and dryer. Um, I've had a couple of loads of washing on at the, um, the last couple of days and it's, it's done a really good job. Up here we have a combination um, microwave oven and a conventional oven. Still trying to work out how this all works but um, I'm sure I will get there in the long run. Here is the bathroom. We have a compost toilet which works quite well. And there's a fan that runs 24-7 and it vents any odours out into the outside. And lovely view from the toilet area. Um, and in here we have the shower. Once again, lots of window space with a nice view. And the piece de resistance is um, the king size bed, which Gary is now going to demonstrate. It's very comfortable. Um, we've had some really good night's sleep on the bed. Just a bit noisy at the moment. I think we need an adjustment. But um, it comes all the way down into the dining room, dining area. Once again, beautiful windows which can take great advantage of the views and the seating area is comfortable enough and spacious enough to accommodate six people and here's our door and we have fans and it's just gone out um, we have fans air conditioning Which is very effective because we've had quite a few hot days. And here's the command station, all things technical, which I'm coming trying to come to terms with. Um, yeah, so that's our little home. Okay, for the technos and those that just want to know more about the truck, from the outside. It's like most other MAN trucks, looks much the same. What makes this thing here different is it's been modified by MAN to full military spec. So that means that engine components, suspension, chassis have all been changed from what you would normally get from a MAN truck. It's full four-wheel drive with front, centre and rear diff locks. It has airbag rear suspension. The model of the truck is a TGM 13290. So that means it has 290 horsepower. Lots and lots of torque, 1150 newton metres of torque. It is extremely capable in the bush. If I just do a detour 
around the truck you'll be able to see some of the componentry and, and so on okay front axles on this are floating front axles free wheeling front axles with lockable front diff. We have 300 litres per side of fuel, so a total of 600 litres. Unless you fold out steps to reach, to step up into the house. Airbag rear suspension, which can be raised or lowered depending on the situation that you need. If you're going through creek crossings and you need more clearance in the rear end, you can raise the suspension. If you need access or just to level the vehicle, you can lower it down. The rear boot area is the garage which carries the spare wheel, tools, um, the davit crane to lower the spare wheel down, and any other manner of things that we need to carry with us. It can tow up to uh, I think it's almost 10 ton. At present, the tow bar is only set up for four and a half ton. It has the capability of most four wheel drive vehicles. There will be limitations to lean angles and the likes. It carries 600 litres of water, 600 litres of fuel. There's a 65 litre um, at blue tank which to me is just a waste of space at present. It has a tyre inflation system up here and we can hook up the Suzy coils from the pods just here onto the tyre valves and inflate or deflate the tyres to whatever pressures that there we need uh, simultaneously. Up here is the winch controls for front or rear winch, the drive in and out, free spool and uh, free spool on the rear winch. The winch itself is hydraulic PTO function. It is 20,000 pounds using the Dyneema, Dyneema rope. And on the front there we have LED lighting, LED light bar, and at the top, we have the four Nava uh, driving lights up there that are eight and a quarter inches, 215 mil approximately. And on each corner of the truck, there is a light bar up there that can either be a light bar or a panic station. So if anyone was to become an intruder or appear to be an intruder, all lights can be turned on and light up the whole surrounding area. It has a 12 speed manual gearbox that is automated. It has um, switchable controls inside the cabin. It can't be changed on the fly, unfortunately. It's just too big a vehicle for that sort of thing. It's just too much damage. It is quite fuel efficient for a vehicle of this size. There is a area up on the top where you can climb up the top. You can either stow gear or you can put your deck chairs up there and have a front rows view of any activity that's going on or just watching the view. So if you like the content of this video, Please like and subscribe. If you have comments or questions, don't hesitate to write the, the comments in there and we will get back to you. Cheers from Team Detour.